For Liz Wells, it was an opportunity to use nature to help produce cyanotypes or sun prints. I also like the idea of it baking in the sun like you would on the beach, taking a dip in the ocean like you would on the beach. Ben Billingsley's woodcuts took on a life of their own. I really thought I would be working smaller and faster. And as the project evolved, it kept getting bigger and bigger. It was difficult for painter Sean Richards to create mixed media pieces instead of going for the obvious. I've been trying not to paint landscapes. <laughs> Chip Hemingway did allow the setting to guide him. The nature for me and my paintings is very inspiring. Placing work from varied artists in a single show is typically a tough task. That tends to be much easier, though, for the exhibit that follows the annual two-week-long No Boundaries Art Colony. Every year, the show always looks so amazing, and I think that thread is this place. The colony always unfolds at Captain Charlie Station on Bald Head Island. The environment is unlike anything that you're probably likely to see anywhere else in the U.S. 12 to 14 artists participate here every November. It's a really sacred opportunity to come out here and be kind of secluded in this artist environment. Artists pay a little for food, but otherwise they attend the colony free of charge. It is an amazing gift to artists. Their only responsibility is to just be artists. No Boundaries only asks for one completed piece for each week the artists are a part of the colony. No Boundaries uses the sale of that art to help uh, sustain itself from year to year. While the environment serves to inspire, so too does the proximity to other creative types. People's stories, the lives they've lived, um, seeing their process, all of that rubs off and is an influence. Usually this is an international event, but for 2016 all the artists were from North Carolina. It was fun to be able to open up all the slots to artists from this area. The colony stretches over two weeks, but organizers have found that the impact is much more far-reaching. The impact of their time here at No Boundaries often is seen for the next year or two in the art they're creating. I'm Richard Green, and this is Made in the Carolinas.